Did you ever have a friend growing up who would make up crazy top secret information about video game cheat codes? He'd be like, hey, you know you could play as Waluigi in Ocarina of Time? And you wondered how he got all this information in an early internet era? But hey, he's your best friend. He's not gonna lie to you. I know I had a few friends like that, and I feel like I'm a better person for it. Rumors and myths have always been one of my favorite aspects of video games. Just searching through the internet looking for clues and rumors was always kind of a thrill of mine. It was the discovery of the unknown that went beyond the game itself. Nothing encapsulated this more than Super Mario 64. For some reason, Super Mario 64 attracted a ton of secrets, myths, and rumors that circulated around the internet for years. There was something special about that game that really brought out the imagination of people to wonder what could be. One of those myths that I know a bunch of people heard of as a kid was getting to the top of the never-ending staircase without having 70 stars. In the past few years, this has been made possible with speedrunners, but 20 years ago, you would just have to sit there and wait for hours and hours hoping and waiting for Mario to finally reach the top of the staircase. Hours of your precious life was wasted on this task. You could have been building a fort, playing baseball, talking to girls, but no. You were content to wait for hours till Mario got to the top of that staircase. And he never got there. It was the staircase of broken dreams. Hey, have you guys heard of Ninja Mario? No? You know, I may be the only one who's ever heard of this myth. I'm not even really sure where it came from. And I've searched the internet for hours trying to find the origin of Ninja Mario, but I came up with nothing. The cheat worked the same as most cheats do. You had to perform a series of arbitrary and grueling tasks in a certain order to unlock the legendary Ninja Mario. I'm not even really sure what Ninja Mario does. All I know is I wanted Ninja Mario. So if you have information on Ninja Mario, let me know, because I really want to know where this came from. Please let me know what Ninja Mario is. Another popular theory was that once you get all 120 stars, you can get into the cannon in the courtyard and shoot Mario into the glass painting of Princess Peach. Doing so, you'll get to play a slide minigame similar to the one in Tall Tall Mountain. This rumor probably came about because the stained glass window is the same stained glass painting used for the first Castle Secret slide. Another castle-centric rumor is that once you have access to the roof of the castle and flying cap, you can fly into the waterfall and unlock Yoshi. Now this one probably came about because Yoshi jumps to his death in the waterfall after you meet with them. Also, there is a rumor that you can get to the top of the castle without 120 stars. This has been proven correct. I actually did a video on it, and you can uh, watch that over here. Just click there, right there. Now, probably the most infamous myth of all time was the rumor that Luigi was hidden within the game. This myth was born thanks to a message on the plaque on the star statue in the courtyard fountain, which read, L is real 2041. Now, people assumed that the number 2041 correlated to the number of coins in the game, so the thinking was that if you collected all the coins, you would unlock Luigi. Now this theory was debunked since that is not the number of coins within the game. And the fact that uh, Luigi was never in the game in the first place. Now I actually learned about this in an April Fool's edition of Nintendo Power. The gullible kid that I was, I believed it. I was convinced that Luigi was in the game and I asked my best friend if he knew how to unlock him. And like all good best friends do, he began to tell me a series of lengthy, repetitive, and just downright impossible tasks that had to be done in a perfect order to unlock Luigi. Now, most of what I remember was we had to complete the game without saving, get 120 stars. We had to catch the bunny rabbit in certain spots, talk to different toads at different times. It was just a whole bunch of BS. But you know what? I bought it 100%. We spent a few good weeks on it before eventually giving up, and the scars still haven't healed. We live in a world now where rumors and myths are easily debunked thanks to websites like YouTube, Reddit, and other fan communities. And for the most part, that's a good thing. There is something to be said though for those early days of the internet where you believed everything you heard online because there was really no other way to know otherwise. You just had to leave it to your imagination and abundance of time to figure out if these rumors were true or not. It may not have been a better world, but it was a world I still cherish greatly. So do you, Super Mario 64, and all the BS you generated, I salute you.
Godspeed, brother. Hey guys, thanks again for watching the video. I really appreciate you watching it all the way through as always. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. I have a whole lot of other videos like this. Also, please leave a like and maybe a comment below if you so choose. I got one of my other videos in the box below right here if you want to watch any more. Thanks again, and with that, we're ghosts.